test. One, two, three, one, two, three. That seems good to me. You fade this music down. Um, I've invited Shadow Wolf to uh, to join in in the stream. I'm trying to adjust my headphone volume a little bit. Need to clean uh get get some canned air and clean the soundboard because it's uh if you don't clean a soundboard for a while the uh uh the knobs on it start to crackle and that's what mine is starting to do a little bit um okay let me uh mute this in the OBS. And everything seems to be running as it should, which is good. Um, we are continuing ukulele. Um, like I've said in the past, this is one of those games that I was incredibly excited for. And then once it came out, I got it and it wasn't everything that I wanted it to be. And I've, I've put a lot of thought into the reasons why it's not what I had wanted it to be. And the primary issues with this game that I've at least ran into is the fact that the worlds in the game are really big and they don't have a whole lot of landmarks in it. Like, for example, um, the previous stream was not archived. However, in the previous stream, I've been playing this game for a while. I ran, I, I've played this first stage many times. I ran into a boss that I've never even seen before in the game. And that's because when you're in the worlds in this game, you accidentally end up walking around in circles half of the time. In the original Banjo-Kazooie though, that doesn't happen. Like in Banjo-Kazooie, there's landmarks, even in Banjo-Tooie, which objectively had a lot more like garbage in the over uh, garbage a lot worse game design there's a lot more um not knowing where to go in that game still you kind of knew where like things were in the stage itself there was there were landmarks that were very distinct like right here this is just a big area where everything looks the same. I do think in the past I have been a bit too hard on this game, and I'll admit to that, but... How the freak did an error occur on my Twitch app, dang it. And I think the stream, it doesn't say it's not going through. It's probably just Twitch's app needing an update or something. Let's, I'll do this one time, I'll close the app and bring it back up, and then if that doesn't fix it, uh, then I'll say screw it, because Twitch's app, their mobile app, is like the worst sometimes. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, in, in the, the previous stream I did of this game, I legitimately ran into a boss that I've never ran into in this area before. Because I find myself kind of wandering around when I play this game. Um, there's an area with Shovel Knight in it that I need to get to. <laughs> Assuming I can figure out where it's actually at. I think... Uh, okay. I don't know what the point is in these doors here. Where do they lead? Yeah, that... I don't know why they all kind of loop in on themselves. Like, maybe later in the stage it expands more or something? Like, I'm not sure what this actually changes here. But okay. I know I haven't been here because all the quills are still there. And there's Shovel Knight. Blimey, check out this guy, Yuka. Greetings, adventures. I am the one they call Shovel Knight. I'm having an eventful day. 
I seem to have embarked on such a grand adventure I've ended up in the wrong game. I hate when that happens. There appears to be some alluring treasure hidden on the top of this temple, however. I'm having trouble reaching it. Haven't gotten used to this bizarre third dimension. I do still think that this game has good humor. And like I said, I do think I, I've been too harsh on it at points. It, th I feel like this game... Okay, so when Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts came out, g the general public were pissed and they hated the game, right? I played that game uh, like years later, like probably six years later or whatever. And my expectations were much lower because I knew what the game was. I'd seen reviews, right? So I ended up being pleasantly surprised by the game. Like, I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. This game, to me, I feel kind of... Gosh, dang. Get up. This game, to me, seems... L uh, okay, cool. Uh... uh. This game, to me, kind of seems like that kind of experience where you're excited about something and it's not exactly what you wanted. And I can see how, like, coming in with the wrong expectations for something, you know, how harmful that kind of is, because... Like, this is not a perfect game, but it's also not really too bad. I'm sure now that I'm saying that the game isn't too bad, I'm going to end up getting infuriated by it, but still. I'm going to stand by my word this time because I'm hard-headed. Uh, oh, okay, cool. God, I... okay. Okay, come on. There we go, that's... That's probably good. Yeah, that's that's very good. And of course, they've got another one, because why wouldn't they? Get those stanky butterflies that I don't need. I wonder how many uh, health pieces you can actually get in this game overall. Uh, does that one down there do? Is there like a first person mode that I don't remember having? Yeah, yeah, there is. Okay, you gotta, gotta click the analog stick in. There we go. Okay. I'll consider that one handled. And now let's, um, kind of. You know what, I'll consider that a success. Let's, uh, unfirst person ourselves for a sec. If I vomit rocks, everything in my life will end up A-OK. -okay. That's what my granny always told me back in the war. Back in the war times. Oh, oh yeah, there's these weird freaking googly eye enemies. I forgot all about them. So they're supposed to be like the signature rareware eyes, but they they look nothing like them. Okay, so... I think I gotta knock the jewel off of this thing's eye. There we go. Um, yeah, there. Wait, no? Really? I thought... He's like... Yeah, yeah, okay, I knew it. There we go. Great work, my son. I love you. Yes, I've, I've done... It, it's weird, I've played this game for like 10 hours, right? I played it like really far into like the swamp area of the game, and then I stopped after that. It's weird to me how how much I've played, but how few of these missions I've done. And maybe it had to do with me being overwhelmingly like, disappointed. Okay. I thought I could cancel that out somehow. 
I guess not. But, like, it's it's fascinating how little of the content of this stage I've actually done. Like, it, it's like I said, there's a boss here that I did not even realize was in the game that I fought the other day. I ne I'd never even ran into him. Obviously, I'll admit that boss was not terribly fun and I probably won't play it again. Uh, unless it's the uh, was something that would hinder me moving forward in the game, but it's it's interesting. Like I know I know I'm kind of repeating myself a lot, but it, it genuinely does fascinate me how I've like I I've played this game so not thoroughly. Meanwhile, in Banjo Kazooie, I know where everything is, including like. The stop and swap Xbox Live stuff. Can I like knock the teeth off of this thing? Nope. Okay. Isn't there a mission that he has me do or have I already done it? I think I've already done it. Yeah. Must have. Uh. Let me view my totals here. 10 out of 25. I'm missing a lot of the ghosts. I've gotten most of the little collectibles here, minus the quills and stuff. Okay. Haha. Mm -ha. ha -ha. Let's go in here and see what's there. Morning about to hop on. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's see, I think now I can do the little mission he's got for me here. Good morning, strapping adventures. Whoa, aren't you supposed to talk simple straight to us? Blah, 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 blah. It's an archetypal character. Not going to start the thing. Still have more windows on top to clear. Get to it. Windows. Yeah, I've... I've clearly missed something here. Wants me to clear windows. Okay. Climb to the top here and kind of look around, and if I don't find anything, I'll move on to the next stage in the game. What I really need is the ability to fly, and I don't think I can unlock that here. I think I do that in the next stage. Yeah. yeah I do that in the next stage. Oh, look. Yeah, there's a lot of floating platforms over there. I guess I'll go there instead. A lot of floatiness. There's also... See, like a... What's up, man? Welcome. I'm about to go get a conk real fast, and I'll be right back. Alright, sounds good, sounds good. Okay. I need to get these bloody, blooming, bleeding quills. Be right back. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get these quills first, and then I'll do the little uh, button press thingy. Ha! Huh. Oh, excuse me. I don't really care about 100%ing this game, but I do want to do more stuff in it than I have before, obviously. Ah, 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 what? You jerk. Oh, okay. I will say, I was talking crap about people complaining about the camera in this game before, 
I completely understand because I thought this is just me misremembering. I thought that in 20 years the devs at Rareware would have learned that you should make the camera an intangible object that doesn't clip onto objects in the environment. But uh, they did not. And um, I hope someday game designers learn to do that. That would be really cool. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some actual technical reason why they don't do that, and it makes me look like a jerk for saying that in such a smug way, but it is it is genuinely a... I feel like it's a fair criticism in my eyes. Like, I, f I feel like that's reasonable. Okay, let's... Let's get on up there. Get on up there, eat us a banana and some cabbage, you know what I'm saying? That's the meal of champions. That's that's the ambrosia that, that Poseidon would eat back in the day. Back in Poseidon's crazy college days. Oh, <laughs> this game has rings. It must be like Superman 64. Ha <laughs> ha. Aren't I so clever and quirky making that observation that Superman 64 has rings? Oh, I'm so smart. I should have been a game designer. Any video game that has rings is like Superman. Ha ha, ho ho, he he, hoo hoo. Let's see, I think this is the area with Uncle Pygmy. Yes. Old Uncle Pygmy. I know I found one of his pigs. Um, yeah, I think I've done all that okay. Whoa, whoa! I hear. Yeah, I hear. I hear a ghosty. It's to the right. It's probably up on top of that platform there. They did a good job with the stereo panning there because I'm I'm kind of using the directions in my headphones to locate it. There you are, you little... I saw him for a sec. I don't know if there's a way to actually catch him right now. Yeah, there he is. Also, you just got to experience the beautiful game stuttering that this game has. Go. Oh. Go to the bank with huh? Mom needs me to go to the bank with her, so I gotta go. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. All I got right. that. Bl oh, you're good. <sighs> I do. <laughs> Hopefully later. So. Oh, okay. And that was Shadow Wolf, everyone. We had a lovely segment with him. Hi, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Brain no function. Mom bank, bye. <laughs> Mom bank, me leave, go bye. Yeah, pretty much, sadly. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Too early for this. <laughs> well, why, not, real question, why does she need you to go to the bank? Uh, we both do. Uh, it's done with our accounts, so we're having uh, an issue. Yeah, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I thought she was just like, go to the bank with me for moral support. <laughs> I hate morning. I mean, I wouldn't be a morning person if morning happened more around noon. I mean, it can happen around noon if you wake up there. You ever thought about that? It's 10.02 here. It's too early. Uh, it's 10.02 for me as well. It's too darn early. Ah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's up to you later. Yep, yep. How the freak do I get past this thing? Do I gotta, like, echo the cameras or something? 
Nope, I guess not. Oh yeah, I think I think there's a power where the chameleon guy Yuka, I think, uh hides himself? I don't know. That that is the thing about uh these huge 3D collectathon platformers, including Banjo, is that like for me when I play a platformer, unless I'm trying to one hundred percent it. Once I'm out of a stage and I'm in the next one, I'm not going back unless I absolutely have to. That's why uh, last night I was uh, complaining about Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, I was talking about how I don't like the design of that one because it requires you to go back. Like, they don't give you enough stars playing the base missions a lot of the time. And, um... Oh yeah, I remember this area. I'm not even going to mess with that. And I thought it was silly. Okay. I really need to get a new capture card. For anyone watching the stream, because the the video probably froze up for a sec. Um I'm not sure if it did or not, but um my my video output from the capture card just died randomly. And I don't know if it's like a USB thing. Like bandwidth or if it's like a this capture card sucks thing like because the card isn't that bad it's just silly i don't know I, I i guess i could solve that problem technically by just buying an hdmi splitter so i should just do that okay Okay, um, no, no, ah, I think this is going to lead to the same thing that I was just in, isn't it? No, no, all right, that's right, this is the, uh, yeah, this, this is another area where I would just have to backtrack, backtrack, because you have to, like, What's the point in going on? Every day I just get older. <sighs> oh. <laughs> that worked. I didn't... Okay. What is this area? Have I ever been here before? I... I don't know if I have. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be allowed to get here yet. Um... Ha, ha, ha! Oh, okay, good, good. Ooh, neat. Hey, come and enjoy the view. Nope. <laughs> Gliding hoops? Good luck. I... Okay. Um, interesting. Sounds very nice. Very nice. Superman 64. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I can't get there. Uh, yeah, I guess I do need the ability that this mission is named after. I can try, though, and fail miserably. Let's see. Ha, ha, ha. Oh my god, I did it. I don't think I'm supposed to even be allowed to do that, but okay. I'll count it. Ha, 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 no, no, what a world, what a world, okay, well that just happened, Ooh. but I see two shiny quills for me over here, that makes up for the three broken bones that you could just, oh, you could just received, see, every, everything makes sense, everyone. Space is warped and time is mendable. The world is not yet anymore as it seems. Mm -mm, no, no, no. Oh yeah, there's that stupid boss that I couldn't beat. I'm not even gonna- I'm actually not gonna mess with him, cause like... He's not that bad in his first two uh, segments and then his third one is just annoying. 
and frankly, there's more stuff to do in this game than fight him. Like, I don't think you're actually required to fight the bosses to beat the game. So I'm just not going to. Huh. Oh god. Come on. Is it? Oh, cool. I was looking for two quills. Where are they? Uh, of course the camera won't tilt down as well. Okay, okay. How lovely. Yeah, I'm I am most definitely about to leave this world. There they are, my precious prizes. I shall obtain them one way or another. There we go. Ha ha! I did it. I succeeded at an incredibly mundane task. Now perhaps my family will know that they were wrong about me. All of them will crumble at my knees. Like a delicious piece of pound cake that has been left in the sun for too long. They will crumble. They will crumble and quake and they will learn to bake. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know about this crap lately. I do not presently know if everything's gonna be okay with me. Just drop my controller. <clears throat> I think there's one um like special item that I haven't quite gotten here yet. I'm just trying to make sure that I've covered all the simple stuff that I can do here. Like, I'm not terribly interested in, like, going back and just backtracking and fiddling with stuff. I just want to make sure that I got all this stuff. I think all that's good. Okay. I think I've got all the simple stuff. If I just say the same thing over and over again, it will become true. So let me just say, I think I've got the simple stuff a couple hundred more times. Um, I know I've been over here in the previous one. I'm just walking around to make sure. Got the ghost that's down there. Yeah, we're we're good. We are good. Let me eat some butthole flies. Fun fact, everyone: flies can only be <laughs> butterflies can only be born if they if they lay their eggs inside of a human rectum. It's the only way. If they don't lay their eggs in a human rectum, they're born inside. <laughs> they're born inside out. So that's the only way that butterflies continue to exist, is by living in people's rectums. All right, I'm gonna climb up here, everybody. 
<laughs> Let's see what we can do, everyone. Let's go. Ah! Well, that wasn't what I wanted at all. Now Mildred will never take me to the Winter Solstice Dance. Die. You don't belong in this epic world. I don't like you. See, I think, yeah, I got the pagey that was right there. Um, now I need to go to the ice world, which I remember not being a big fan of the ice world. Like, the first one is okay. I remember that one not being so good. What, what does this do? Nothing. Got it. What This takes me down, right? Yeah. I don't know why you would want to take that down when you could just jump and cancel out. Like, cancel out the animation. Chain attacks together to perform combo moves. See, in the PC version, all these background images of the pages and the quills dance across the screen. And I wish they could have found a way to make it look right in this- Oh, yeah! Yeah, I forgot about this! I stopped right here on the quiz thing. But yeah, um, I wish they had found a way to make that happen, but I get why they didn't. Yeah, this is kind of like Gruntilda's quiz, except hers happens at the end of the game. His happens between this area. I feel like the game designers were just like, You remember this? When they added some of these things. Also, this is a straight line. Gruntilda's quiz was complex and interesting. Oh god, how many do you have in total? <laughs> nope. Wait, what? The <clears throat> For the first move. Ten. Oops, player's guides are available, FYI. That crumbling sea ship you call a home, what flies from the mast? Pants? Shorts? Oh, that was wrong. Wait, wait, what? I was getting them wrong the whole time and I didn't even realize. What the hell? No, one of those I got right, okay? One of those I know I got right. I don't care what the game says. I'm right even if I'm wrong, okay? Quill, how many do you have in total? Well, that's the only constant answer that's given. You've been reading Wikipedia. Double curse is a super quick correct answer. That's a two-pointer, okay. The ridiculous fishbowl freak, Dr. Puzz. What is her first transformation? Yeah, oh, yeah. plant. Curses. That's the only transformation you've been able to do at this point in the game, so. Uh, the disappointing mon monument boss, Rampo. What does he hate? Uh... I guess escalators? Nope. Okay. The picture, where was it taken? Um... The Duke's Temple? No? The picture, where was it taken? Okay. Yeah, that's... Okay, so that one's easy. Okay, so each time we move forward, too, I guess. Tribal Stag Tropics. How many pages were required to unlock it? One? God, why did I make these multiple choice? You know, that's a good point. Watch me losing this last one. 
A crumbling sea ship. Okay, so second chance on this one. I said shorts last time. Ah, I knew it. I knew I was going to lose in the last one. I freaking knew it. Gosh darn. Yeah. This is kind of like Gruntilda's quiz where you basically just get them wrong until you memorize the answers. Tribal search, uh, how many pages were required to unlock it? One. Double curses. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Ivory Towers, hardworking employees. Which did you cruelly defeat first? Okay. That was a guess because the game hasn't even told me what the freak that is yet. Okay. Um, the picture, where was it taken? That's Rex Rose Arcade. <laughs> okay, okay. The new boss, capital B, what color is his official statue gold? Silver and gold, silver and gold, mean so much more when I see. The hungry hog in travel stacks was his name. Scoffs a lot. The tribal stack. <sighs> Son of a. Who lives inside? I, I said, uh, son of a, because the video just cut out again. I don't know why it's been doing that so much lately. I think I think it freezes up on the stream for a sec when it does that too. Blah blah blah, we get it. You're an angry duck and I don't care about you. Find cartos in each. Okay. Yeah, they're putting these on screen for too short of a period of time for you to actually read them, by the way. Munch tasty butthole flies. My, my booter fly. I'm guessing the one with the hat is a corporal or something. That's the only logic I can really apply here. Um... Oh, my beautiful vixen, talk to me. I love you. I love you so much. Stun 30 enemies to unlock this tonic. Okay. Beat his high score in three machines. Ten ghost riders. Order, collect 300 quills. So all these have some kind of, um... Finish the story. Why? Well, what would be the point? So it said stun a bunch of enemies. So let me just do. Let me just start trying to stun enemies now. Oh crap! I can't actually hit these guys. Oops. Like zoinks! I'm out of here, Scoob. Oh, my beautiful lovelies, allow me to kiss you. I'm trouser the snake. I'm so sneaky. Yeah, yeah, No returns. Forgotten already. Leap into the air. Okay. So now I've got the ability to glide, apparently. Yay! I can glide like a daddy. You 
you would not believe your eyes if ten quadrillion fireflies said that you were a girl when you are a guy. Because they'd fill the open air and leave fear drops everywhere. I'm going to create my own version of eye drops and they're going to be called fear drops. And what happens is you inject them into people's eyes. They start to see the most terrifying thing they've ever seen in their life. And they die. It'll be a big hit with the, with the millennials. They'll be like, oh, dude, have you tried fear drops? Then everyone will be like, no, what are fear drops? And then, then they'll, they'll take them. And boy, howdy, will they be surprised. All of this sounds deeply disturbing, but I promise you it's normal. Oh, have you tried the fear drops, Yuki? Okay, I just stunned 10 enemies, I believe. Oh, 30. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's that's more than 10. Fun fun fact for all the viewers out there, 30 is more than 10. Uh, I know I know I'm I'm spitting those cold hard facts of life on you guys. Sure. Let's go to Iceland. Or it is not icy. Oh, I always wanted to hop into storybooks. I always wanted to hop into the books that my granddad would read. <laughs> All of them involved screaming and agony. It is the most beautiful thing I've ever read in my life. I can't help it. Why is the world such a beautiful yet horrifying place to live? <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta make uh, Yuka sick, by the way. Like, he would stop that roll and he would immediately vomit. Rexro has a beautiful anime arcade game for you to play. You play as a character who is late for school and is worried that Roxine won't take him to the Winter Solstice dance now. Even though she promised him, she said, she told me that she would take me to the winter solstice dance. But has she? No. What's the deal with that, Roxine? You a liar? You know what they do to liars in Iceland? I can, like, cheat this by hitting the fire in the right way. Yeah, there we go. I remember that. Die, you smelly yeti. I'll make you into Yeti Spaghetti. And then, boy, howdy, will you be sorry for your deeds. Your deeds that you have committed. Yeah, this stage is really pretty, by the way. Oh, yeah, we can't really roll properly here. You need the, uh... You need to eat some cannonballs to play this stage correctly. Da googly eyes. Yeah, by the way, they applied way too much motion blur to the googly eyes in the intro of this game. It almost looks like when you interlace video and you deinterlace it wrong. What the freak is this? Oh, yeah, that makes you a honey boy. Makes you, like, uh, made out of honey. Hello, spindly snowman boy. Like, this snowman simultaneously hefty and skinny at the same time, which is weird. Away, it seems, uh, that's cool. That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Like, I wish video game characters had their priorities straight, and whenever people are like, oh, I'll give you this thing you need to save the world, if you'll just do this mundane task for me, they're, they just kind of like, hold up their sword and are like, really? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're gonna do that for me? Really? I remember this. I have to like do this in some kind of specific order that I don't remember at all. Ah, ah, stop it. Okay, 
Okay, maybe I need the fire. How's about a little fire scarecrow? Well, that's not doing it at all. <laughs> I ate too much Taco Bell. This is what has happened to me. Don't be like me and eat 50,000 crunchy gorditas. C crunchy gordlinas. Don't eat the Taco Bells. I used to have a friend who was, a uh, she was like half Hispanic. And she freaking hated Taco Bell to the point where she would actually like freaking trigger my anxiety whenever I'd eat it. She'd like, she'd sit there and she'd be like, you're gonna die from eating that. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, stop. And then she'd get upset at me whenever I, I said, please stop. Like she'd act like she was allowed to say that and it was no big deal. Like, I'm just trying to help you. I'm like, you don't understand how not cool that really is. Okay, so I gotta wait for my little, uh, little bar to refill, I guess. I guess this is the order that it's showing me right here, so... Middle. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, that was easy once I actually stopped being a fool and paid attention. But yeah, she would, she would like, say really, like... I understand what she was trying to say, but she'd say very, like... Creepy, freaking, foreboding stuff while while someone was eating Taco Bell. It's like, just leave me alone and let me enjoy my meal. Like she she was not a bad person, but that was that was not cool. Oh, I love the music in this area. Keep stunning enemies so I can get that unlockable thing. Yeah. Look at the is this a footprint? No, it's not, okay. I was gonna say if that's a footprint, that's crazy. I think in a banjo tooie there is like a giant creature that can step on you that has like footprints like that. See, like it's weird. I love Banjo Kazooie, the original, and I've played it all the way through, like I mean at least twice, but I've played most of it probably a thousand times. I've j I'm just bad towards the end of the game. That's when I start it I kind of start to get tired of messing with it. But, um, can we kill these guys? Like, I, oh, that's a creepy freaking laugh that the game just gave off. Huh? But, um, 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 what the frick was I saying? Oh yeah, I've barely played Banjo-Tooie. Like, as a kid, I played the first two or three worlds of that game and that's it. And so that game would probably be, like, a really good stream game for me, because there would still be a lot for me to discover, because I've actually never watched a full Let's Play of it either. So, there's probably a lot of things about Tui that I don't even know. Which would make for really good content, because there'd be a lot of me being like, What the freak? You can do that? And I don't know, I feel like the best, um, the best streaming content for me is whenever I don't know what the freak is going on in the game, and I'm just kind of going with it and being genuinely surprised by it. Okay, let's swim our way back up. Oh, 
That being said, that does not always work out, though. Because sometimes, uh, you end up just getting stuck in games, and it sucks. Um, let's stun these guys. Okay. That mission is accomplished. Um... Hop up here. Take that. Ha ha. Now I am the alpha. Uh, finally, you're here. Hurry up and get to work. The firewood? What? Good, this level needs warming up. Shut it. God, God girl. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what what a great sculpture. I why the freak did he just call Yuka Goth Girl? Or Lele Goth I don't know the freak which one is which. I go based off of the logo and Yuka's green in the logo, so I assume Laylee's the bat. Ah, just stop with your creepy demonic laughter, you jerk. Okay. Well, I guess I'll come back for you, my friend. <laughs> so, like... I, I guess there's a power-up that I need to get to break these things? I, I guess? Can I... Okay, I can walk up this thing normally. Ah, okay, cool. me alone. Uh. Ah. Ah. No. I need to buy an HDMI splitter so bad. <laughs> Little in the middle, but you got much better. Um, yeah, how the freak would I do this? I'm, I'm. There's probably a power up. There's no way it would be anything else, right? Not like this. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this area that I can't even mess with, so it's gotta be something like that. Jerk? Thank you. What the freak does this do? Ah, I see this. This is probably how I need to mess with that sculpture then. Or maybe not. Let's... Uh... Ah, uh, of course. A freaking course. The I mm, they give you like the perfectly annoying time with these power-ups sometimes. Like by the time you're mm. It was the same same way with that little uh 
girder guy in tribal stack tropics. You have to freaking like Oh this I'm not gonna be able to make it. Oh Ha! Oh you mm. oh, that that was cool. I liked that. That was that's what I wanted. Uh, you know, screw th screw that area. I'm going over here. That's the beauty of these games is you actually have a choice if you want to screw with something. That's probably why I like these over a lot of like not this particular game, but why I like this style of game so much. Oh, okay. I was like, what do you want me to do? Game didn't give me any instruction. It's just like you clicked the button. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was my fault that I lost there. What the hell? <laughs> like, where, where the freak is... Oh. What? what? It's right above me, I guess. This is stupid. Oh, it's like... Okay. Yeah, I'm not into that one. Let's try that again. Oh. Yeah, this this section did not give me very good instructions at all. It's just like vaguely do this thing. Okay, so I have to wait for this thing to like lower itself. Ah, oh, you. S oh, that's that's stupid. That's, that's irritating and stupid. I'm not, you know what, screw you, Pagey. I don't care. Nathan, you sure are skipping past a lot of segments in the game. Yeah, I know, right? They should probably, like, ma give me better instruction in that area. Nathan, that's not why you lost. I don't care. Nathan, are you talking to yourself? No. I would never... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, by the way. I was talking about how, um... In most Mario games, for example, there's always levels that you just skip past because they're not worth your time. Like Shifting Sandland, for example, is one of those for me. Um, that's how a lot of these 3D platformers are. There's stage- there's, like, missions and stages that are really fun and satisfying. And then there's stuff that I try a couple times, I'm like, you know what, screw you, game designers. That's stupid. And it's tedious. I'm gonna freaking stun you, and you're gonna- you're gonna be sorry, I tell you. There. I, I wish it would give me a tally of how many enemies I have stunned up until now, so I actually know. I love you. I would save you, but I don't quite understand how. Yeah, this is the uh, intro area of the level, by the way. Like, we've, we've kind of looped in on ourselves here. What the freak? Jesus. Just took a plunge there. Yeah, I'm not going to 100% this freaking stage. I'm not even gonna try and get close here. Come on. That... <laughs> That was floating in the air until I walked up to it. Okay. There we go. Now I've got this the freaking tonic unlock. Um Okay, I can't pass that.
Super Slam. See, why can't I select more than one at a time, by the way? I'll keep I'll keep the extra health because that seems a bit more um, a a bit more useful to me than having a slightly more powerful buddy slam. Okay. What? What? I'm sorry, what? Burr, it's cold in here. It's cold everywhere! This is an ice stage, you nip- you freaking nitwit. Do I just freaking- yeah, burn yourself in the cauldron. You're that worried about the cold, you freaking baby. What are you, warm-blooded? Like, oh no, uh, it's cold in the Antarctic, you freaking loser. Idiot. You don't know anything. Welcome, lovely to see you. I've only drank a little bit. Uh, before I die... Uh, <laughs> Yes, I want I want to jump higher. I want to run faster. I want to be stronger. Stronger, more powerful, and more moist than ever. Shut up. There we go. Now Pep Pep will be proud of me. Now I can also go in the place that is so much colder than all of this. Like, it's so much colder. Like, I mean, you would not believe how much colder it is. You eat the fire. Does that mean I can walk through this fire up here, then? Yay! I'm a good boy. Daddy loves you so much, I'll save you right now, boy. Oh, what the freak is that noise that it's making? Oh, it's these guys! They make freaking grody noises all they're running around. Sound like a geriatric granddad. Disgusting. It's disgusting. Which one of you hasn't flushed the toilet after you've taken a poop? -o? I, I, I freaking love those videos online whenever there's like kids playing and having fun and they're doing it like on a live stream and then the parents run in and are like, what? They, they, they just like embarrass them so blatantly and they don't even care. Oh, that's that. That's like the worst. That, that is like my worst nightmare. That's the reason why, as a kid, I used to make YouTube videos and I stopped at least one of them. Because I would be, like, recording a video. And no joke, someone would, like, come into my room in the middle of it. And they would inject themselves into the video. Like, there's one time, uh... Oh, son of a biscuit eater, dude. This sucks. There's one time I was recording some kind of video and one of my cousins just walked in. In the middle of the recording and was like... Hi, my name is Amber, and and I'm like, they, everyone would get super offended because I was like, can you like not do that and interrupt everything I'm working on right now? That'd be cool. Freak, do I do? What the freak? What the, okay, bye. I guess. Yeah, they'd get like super. What the hell was that? I'm sorry. Screw you. But yeah, they'd get like super offended because I would be in the middle of doing something and th they would just come in and interrupt me and I'd, I'd be like, can you stop? 
they'd be like, fine. And they, th this is not a joke. They would be like, fine. And then they would storm off. And I'm like, like what? The why isn't? Why am I the bad guy? It makes no sense. It was it was very silly back in the day. I think it's because they didn't understand what I was trying to do or something because I was a child trying to record YouTube videos. I, I also remember back then I would have like conversations with people about YouTube and like I would try and like come up with ideas with them, right? I'd be like, let's make a YouTube video guys and they'd be like, yeah, let's do it. And then I'd be like, all right, what are we going to make a video about? What what ideas do you got? And they'd be like, uh, and, th and they, they would be like, just record me. And I'd be like, that's not, that's not entertaining. Like, uh, you, to make a video, you have to have some kind of idea or something that you're working on. What do you have to say? Yeah, I wish somebody would find my missing hat. Yeah, you know. Sometimes stuff goes missing. That's kind of a you problem, like I said. Oh, this is interesting. Uncle Pagey. How I love the Uncle Pagey. I will take you out of your cagey. I will say the swimming in this game is not so good. Like when you tap the A button he swims up. You tap the Y button, I think, he goes down. And you, that's that's pretty much it. Like you can't, there's no like forward swim button. You just kinda hit the forward direction. And I don't know, it feels wrong to me. That being said, I do think Banjo had something a little similar. Well, I think it was a bit easier to control. Oh wait, what? Oh, I, oh, I just realized I ate the honey. I did I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Come back here, you dirty eyes. But um Oh yeah, uh on the subject of like videos of people getting uh, interrupted while they're recording stuff. I saw a video online that's like this 17 year old dude who was like streaming or recording something and um, in the middle of his recording he was like apparently doing it late at night his mom like ran in and started screaming at him and he I, I think he tried to mute his microphone but he didn't do it in time or he didn't do it correctly so you just hear his uh, mom like screaming at him like, GET IN THAT BED NOW! It's like, Jesus Christ. And he's like, I think he's like telling her, like, you're embarrassing me. And she's like, I don't care, let them hear. It's like, Jesus Christ, people. Is there... I don't think there's anything I can do on top of these buildings, is there? For some reason, um, this is kind of a random thought that's just kind of how my mind is this morning. For some reason, um, there's been a couple games that I've been really wanting to play lately. And I haven't messed with them lately because I just haven't had my other consoles hooked up. But I've really wanted to play, like, some adventure, like, RPG sort of games, like... Skyrim and stuff like that. 
And what what I th or, or like fable maybe. And what I think I need to do is I think I need to uh, continue Breath of the Wild since I think that would kind of scratch that itch for me. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Land in the water. There we go. Yeah, I think Breath of the Wild would scratch that itch really well. Because I, I have not played that game enough. And I think it's the same thing that happened to me with Skyrim. Where, um, I played... I, I played... Skyrim a little bit when I first got it, but I was scared to play it too much because I didn't want to get engrossed in it. Like, I didn't want to spend too much time on it. It made me anxious. And I needed to stop caring and just do it. Uh, okay, we're back in the crystal cave. Finding the gems with Bentley Bear. Uh... He's also looking for his hat. Um. Um. I can't remember where this leads to. Oh. Exactly where I was at. Just like the opposite side of it, though. Huh. Okay. Um. Let's see. There's nothing over here to climb on. Let's let's go back in. Let us go back in. Uh, let's get that honey action going. Go to honey.com to save your granddad from having a death. If you go to honey.com and use the coupon code haha he he, you'll save six grand on on earrings and little eggs. Oh, oh, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That did not happen how it should have. That did not happen at all how it should have. I'm going right back up there, boy howdy. I'll show this game who's boss. Ha. Huh. I guess that's why. I guess I didn't eat it properly. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There we go. And this... Yeah, that adds to our little energy meter. Okay. That's actually super helpful then. Oh yeah, I can't really go back up there. Nice, you unlocked a new tonic. Come pay me a visit. Okay, okay. Let's find Grammy Tonic and see see what she's got going on for us here. Grammy Grammy Tonic face. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you I'm not a fan of most of the pages in this world. I'll try this one one more time. The problem that I have with it is kind of the randomness of the moving platforms is, like, not super cool. Like, I'm not a fan of the fact that it feels like I'd have to hit the button at the perfect time to do this. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I kind of just hit the button at the right time there. Come on. There we go. I did good, buddy. I'm so proud of myself. Let's see what all's under the under the sea here. Oh, little jellyfish. They all will adore me and buy me buy, buy me various steak knives to celebrate my glory, my majesty, my splendor. Oh yeah, I remember this area here. 
Gloomy Jim Grotto. I love the word grotto. Ooh, neat. Let me go back up there and get that uh feather there. That quill. Hunting the rabbits. Wouldn't that be a quirky joke if if <laughs> if Ray if Ray Raymond from Everybody Loves Raymond got both of his arms chopped off and his hands were floating around him and his feet were as well and he said, "Be very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits." Ha 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 ha. Because video games. That'd be a clever and quirky joke if I've ever heard one. I love those kinds of jokes where it is purely just a reference to a thing. That's how God intended humor to be when he created it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I barely... How did I do that? That was actually kind of tough platforming. Oh my god! Oh, it's Satan. It's Satan, everyone. Oh, 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 I don't like him. Oh, I don't like him. Ah, what the freak? What the freak? Oh, I can actually hit him? What the freak is going on? I don't like him. I don't like him. Uh-oh. No, what, what is this? Ah, you suck. Just leave me alone. God, just please, please leave me alone. Is there, is there nothing more here? Oh, no, 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 okay, there's floating plat platforms. Little floating platforms. Huh. Oh, oh, okay, I guess. Ah, uh, huh. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. What is. Oh, God. Oh, God in heaven. No. They're going to get sick from eating this crap, dude. Like, in the next game, it needs to start off with them in a hospital bed, dude. That would actually be kind of a... That would actually be kind of funny if they just start the next ukulele game where they're both in the hospital after eating this crud. Okay, thank God. Thank the Lord. <laughs> the Lord in heaven. Gosh dang, dude, like these... You basically have to jump off a cliff to get these bloody quills. Okay, okay, okay. we do not have much power left. Vigiti, what do his power levels say? It's over nine, ha ha ha. I'll eat to the radioactive waste, my son. Ah, 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 okay. That's what they get for existing. Existing in my domain. That's right, that gym grotto belongs to me. I created it. I am the creator of all precious stones. I invented them. I can destroy them just as easily. Then no one's wife will get a, a diamond wedding ring. 
Not on my watch. Get these precious anime quills. So precious to me. Okay. Just want to get this and then I'll 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 swim and swam up to the surface. They don't really need a key. Like, the gap between those chains is big enough that they could just walk right through. But they're fools. They're insolent fools. They will pay deeply for their crimes. Okay, okay. Oh, dang, I haven't been up there yet. Is there something else over here? I don't think there was. Nope. Okay. Okay, let's, um... Guess, uh, oh, there's a ghost down here. Can I just say, by the way, if I heard that sound at 3 a.m., I'd be horrified. Okay, I'm not... I'm not about to chase this ghost down underwater right now. I'm sorry, but no. Like, what person in the right mind would want to chase down a ghost underwater? Oh, uh, just leave... just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not resisting. You're resisting. Why isn't there like an auto lock with this crap? You just blindly flail these things around. Okay, um... I'll do this uh, minecart thingy since... I assume that it's going to be easy. Uh, sure, let's get them purdy jams. I want you to get them purdy jams and put them inside my butthole. Purdy jams. That's what they called me in the Navy was purdy jam. Because my purdiness was, was unbeknownst to anybody. Nobody comprehended my purdiness. Yeah, I think this is uh, a boss, by the way. Like, I think I'm gonna fight a boss here. Oh, or I'll die. That's also an option. And that's- that's fine, you know. It's whatever. You know, dying in a game is as just as good as winning. In fact, some would say it's better, because, you know, first is the worst, and second is the best, and... Third is the one who has the hairy chest. I always thought that was so stupid sounding. Like, like I, I never understood why having a hairy chest would be a big deal as a kid. Like, it's a pretty normal thing. I have no idea how many of these gems the game actually wants me to grab, but I'm just grabbing as many as I can. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. I wonder if they brought these back in a, the second ukulele game, since from my understanding that one's um, a lot like Donkey Kong Country, and that game is actually the game that made these uh, little minecarts famous. So, you would imagine, at least. Huh. Ah, crap. Huh? 
Okay, cool. Eye is itching. Uh, so you have to kind of fall for a second, then you can jump, but it's really weird to do. Like, the timing for it makes no sense to me right now. I'm guessing I have to get like a hundred or something? I'm just gonna let him get hit. Yeah, there we go. I got that one. Almost got that one. We okay, got that one. It seems like the game really wants you to get those yellow ones, though. Yeah, I didn't get enough there either. In fact, I think I got less that time trying to get those. Trying to get the uh, blue ones. Or the yellow ones, rather. There we go. Okay. Didn't seem to account for... How the frick... I don't understand how the second jump works there. Why did they just walk away? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh! Oh, I have cannons? I didn't freaking know that. I wish I knew that this whole time. Such a fool. Ah. Okay. Oh god. I guess we'll see how many we can get here. I'm assuming it's a hundred. <sighs> okay. try and take this much slower this time. Okay, cool. I will boost there, because I feel like I kind of need to. Ah. Okay. 
So at those points, I just need to let go of the freaking controller altogether. Uh, is that enough? Yeah, okay, so it was just a hundred, okay. There we go, alright. Ah, oops. Okay. There we go. Um, I think there's a boss if I go back on it. Yeah, let's tr let me try it one more time just because I think there's a boss. Maybe that's in the next stage though. I just want to see now. Also, it wouldn't really hurt to practice this regardless. Yeah, it seems like taking this slowly was the better choice last time, so... Like, I was trying to speed through before, and I was being terribly inaccurate and missing several, uh, blue ones. See, now that I'm taking my time, I pretty much got this, uh... Oh, uh, well, I say that and then I got hit, but still. Shut up. No, I'm good. Yeah, I got hit towards the very end there, but I still counted. Okay, so, um... I left a, a quill over here. Quite a long way to go for one, but I guess I'll go get it anyways. Because why not? Go ahead and just grab that so I don't forget it. That's part of the reason why these games kind of make me feel ADHD sometimes. Is, um... You, you, you kind of do have to, like... What, the moment I see something, I kind of feel the need to go to it so I don't forget it later. I like how I was just trying to grab health and I hurt myself trying to grab it, by the way. Okay. Um... I'm gonna... Huh. Get up. Grab that. Thank you. Watch it run out the nanosecond I get where I need to get, by the way. Because that's how these power-ups tend to work. Okay, or I can just not be able to jump high enough. Yep. There we go. Okay. Get up there, you fools. Okay. Can't get up there like that. Can I just not jump high enough? There's no way they would put that there and then just have you have it be like, no, screw you. Oh, come on. Okay, I see. I, f I didn't even... I don't think I've ever used that move in this entire game. So I didn't even know it freaking existed. But okay. Maybe that's the, the tonic that I got, though. Grab that. Thank you. Ha. Okay, now I go this way. This one should be a bit easier. Yeah, you know, that's probably the tonic that I got, now that I think of it, because the tonic I got was, like, higher jumping. And I didn't really know what that was supposed. What the freak? Oh, I'm on top of his eyes. Okay. Um, do they give me more cannonballs? No, they don't. Cool. So I probably actually need to go back over here and look up a few of those. Ha. Huh. 
Okay, no, I can't do that. There we go. Okay. Huh, hit it. There we go. Okay, I was scared for a sec. Whew. Okay, yeah, I, w I was really actually scared for a sec that right when I got to the button, I was going to deactivate my little power-up I got here. It does seem like uh, they do give you enough time with this power-up to do what you need to do for the most part. There we go. Okay. There we go. Got that there. Let's view our totals for this world. Uh, 6 out of 25. Alright. Um, I think that's a reasonable place to end the stream. Thank you everyone for watching. If you're not followed, be sure to hit that follow button. Be sure to subscribe with Twitch Prime if you want to support the channel monetarily. I'll see you all in the next stream. Thank you very, very much.